The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Alongside Carson and men's golf coach Randy Wiley, I'm Danielle Whaley, and this is the Eagle Sports Network. Carson Newman gears up for the spring kickoff intercollegiate to start off the spring slate this week. And coach, you're really jumping into the deep end with this first event of a very busy spring. Uh, what are you kind of looking forward to this week for your group making this return to uh, the spring kickoff? Well, it's a really good golf course that the guys really enjoyed and liked a lot. The greens are super challenging. The field's super challenging. Uh, I think we're going to get some decent weather in Florida. That's the reason you, you make the trek this time of year. And uh, we're just looking forward to getting the season going. Everybody's tired of playing each other and ready to get out there and, and see some other teams and uh, you know try to get some wins. When you talk about the field, it's really going to be a stacked one for the team. That's what it typically is at this event. You've been to this te- uh, event numerous years now, and you've been able to string together some top five finishes. What does it take for the team that you're taking that does have some returners to continue that success this time? Well, we've got a real experienced, tough-minded team, I think, and I think we can go, go down there and compete with all those teams you know, pretty strongly. So we're looking for a, a really good finish. They did move the, um, the tournament to a new course, last year St. John's Country Club which is fantastic and the guys have really enjoyed it. We love the move. Um, Everybody pretty much in the field will be playing it for the second time this year so it's kind of a a pretty equal footing for all the different teams. I don't think anybody has a big advantage on on knowing the golf course. Um, So we feel really good about our opportunities to go down there and, and have a really good finish. And last year, with that change in the tournament venue, your team was still able to get third place. Going into this season, knowing that it is going to be a tough field and everything, what are you hoping to see from your team to potentially continue that success that you found last year? Well, I thought we weren't very good in the fall at kind of playing one shot at a time and just kind of playing our game plan and just sticking with our uh, the fundamentals of how we approach the game. So I, I just, to have a great spring, I think it's important that we start the the spring off with a just fundamentally sound mental game where we we play mentally tough and and kind of stay within ourselves and not get too overly worried about the competition but more how do we attack this golf course because you know in the end in golf I mean you're playing the golf course so I think we got a little wrapped up in playing the other teams a little too much in the fall and you know I just want to see our team get mentally better at at just approaching the golf course and our our strategy for the course and their game plan, uh, which I think will lead us to a much better spring. You talk about that mental soundness for the team. One thing you talked about in the fall, too, was really trying to have those complete outings for all three rounds of competition. How crucial is that for an event like this where you're really trying to get into the conference and region play that you're going to face the entire spring? It's just critical, Mm -hmm. absolutely. When you play the best teams in the fall, we kept getting behind and having to make these stage these grand comebacks, which we did a fairly decent job of. But you just don't want to get behind right off the bat. You know, it's we got to be better mentally right from the get go and carry it through the whole tournament, not uh, you know wait till we're in a bind and then show how tough we are. So you know, I'd much rather see us play well from the start and play well through the whole week than than always, you know, coming from behind. So it's the guys know what to do and they they've done it before. We just didn't do as good a job as I would have expected in the fall. So that's our challenge for for the spring and, and that's the challenge that's gonna make or break us when we get to postseason. Coach, best of luck this week, and thank you so much for the time. Absolutely. Go Eagles. He is Coach Randy Wiley. I'm Danielle Whaley, and this is the Eagle Sports Network.